Happy Monday. So, this week my weigh-in had me gain a pound. And it's frustrating. Like, it always is when you gain anything. And as I've said before, when this has happened, it's better that I've gained a pound than, you know, gain more than a pound. Like, three pounds or five pounds or ten pounds. I don't know how you can gain ten pounds in a week, but okay. So, she's going to keep me on the diet this week, but next week we might change it. She thinks what's happened is my body's gotten used to this specific diet, and so I've hit a plateau. So we're going to possibly change things up. I don't I don't know. Uh, she's having me go to a website called MyFitnessPal.com, which I originally was supposed to go to last week, but because or the week before, because I couldn't get the bicycle, I figured I didn't need to go. But what MyFitnessPal.com does is you type in what you're eating, and it gives you number for number the calories, the carbs, the sugars, etc. that you're having. And if you're exercising, put in the exercise you're doing. I don't know what the options are or stuff like that because I don't know how the hell I'm going to measure that thing. Um, and then that tells you how many calories you burned off, giving you a total of how many calories you've had for the day. And we're pretty sure that I am good on the calorie intake because I'm allowed between 1,000 and 1,500. So we're pretty sure I'm under that, but this will just kind of confirm it. Um, yeah, so that that's that. And uh, I guess we'll, we'll find out what happens next week. Oh, it's just it's frustrating. And then the funny thing is, or not funny thing, I guess, is if you're somebody like me, and it's a 50-50 thing, I feel like this sometimes. When you get upset, you want to eat. And when you're on a diet and you're upset, you want to eat the shit you can't eat. And what ends up happening is you, you know, you gain a little bit more to work it off later that week, or, you know, eat things even out and you don't lose anything. But, yeah, this... So what happens because you, if you allow yourself to get so upset, you come to a point where it's like, fuck it, I gained the pound anyway, or you know whatever the amount is, and it's like I'm just gonna, I'm fuck it, I'm gonna eat what I want. It's not working. I quit. I'm done. I'm sick of it. I'm eating. I'm sick of eating the same thing over and over again. Which I am. I wake it. So, yeah. But you just, like she wants me to stop having my cheat day. I didn't hide it. From her, I told her about my cheat day. She asks me what I eat, and I told her most of the time it's takeout. But this week was different. This week, I I've been wanting stuff I used to make at home. Um, a lot of potatoes, <laughs> um, like a frittata. And how my family eats it is it's eggs, potatoes, and onions. So that's what we always kind of just called it: eggs, potatoes, onions. Um, but like. I, I came from a house where I really couldn't cook anything, and even though I don't consider myself a culinary art expert, I, I'm in a new house, in a kitchen, where I could try things out, you know? Because you, you see stuff on YouTube, you see stuff on cooking channels, you see stuff on reality cooking channel shows like Hell's Kitchen, and you're like, that was good. I want to try making that. You know, and I can do that now, but of course it's all shit I can't have. Because it's stuff that has too much sugar or it's a carb, you know, bread, pasta, that kind of thing. So it, it gets frustrating because it's like I'm in a nice kitchen I can do shit in, but I can't do anything in it because the shit I want to try, I can't fucking eat. <sighs> so, we'll see. Um, just sticking to it again this week and we'll find out what changes come next week. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Keep at it. Um, I hope you guys are doing great. And uh, I know it's frustrating, but just, just stay strong to it. And always remember, you are more than just a number. So I will see you guys next week. Bye.